James and I are on a little stroll. We're gonna go to Walgreens, get a couple of things. Um, but more so, we just wanted to get out. It's really, really nice out. And I've been trying to get even the littlest bit of motivation to do stuff like this, just with how tired I've been and, you know, all that good stuff. So, we are strolling. This little car is like such a game changer because he's not like mad. He's getting in a stroller and he can look around and see everything. So, it's gonna be a good day. Even if I have serious FOMO from all of the 50th anniversary posts I've been seeing all morning long. Getting some miles in before we have a productive day at home. But I had to show you this. Still a little jostly, but way more calm. But look at that sun setting on the skyline. Doesn't get much better than that. Hey, oh, someone woke up from their nap. And someone is hungry and jonesing for McDonald's. You guys know, like, McDonald's is our favorite Guilty food. pleasure. And there's one right by Ricky. I don't think there's any guilt, actually. It's just a pleasure of ours. Did I say guilt? I did. Yeah, I'm not guilty. It's just like, <laughs> I feel like everybody has like their fast food. And yeah. like, we're McDonald's people. And I have a taste for a little bit of everything, so I don't even know what I want. Um, but we have one walking distance. It's, I mean, it's by Wrigley. So, Peter was just gonna go. James took a late nap. We woke up just in time. So we went as, we're going as a family. Look at this fancy Starbucks. You can tell it's right across from Wrigley. It's just a pickup location. Game changer, time saver, day maker. James is jazzed about the balloons. This is so weird. It must have just opened because you can still see the ribbon. So at this McDonald's, you order on this little screen. I need my phone to log into our account. Sorry. We ordered our food. James is checking out the 50th anniversary things. So they're all the same. They're just different. Are they characters with each? There's a character comes with each. So there's oh, 50 characters. Back, background? Yeah, I think it's just the four parts. Yeah. We're getting one though. Yo. We haven't gotten any. Sarah wants to get all 50. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who do we think it is? That's your special your apple slice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now. And I'll my deck. Bo Peep! Bo Peep! Bo! Wait, is it Bo Peep Toy Story 1, 2, 3? Or is it no. Bo Peep Toy Story 4? 4. Nice. I got my little bit of everything. The little burger. A little chicken nuggets. A little french fries. Peter got a... Double quarter pounder. Oy vey. What do you got there? <laughs> a mouthful of french fries and a flower in his hand. Oh, is Jenny's open? Probably. eating my apples. What? Are we gonna get Jenny's? Maybe, should we walk past it and see? <gasps> I've never had Jenny's before. What about this West Town Bakery? It's cold. Mm. Mm. And it's a bar too. I think we went, I think there's another location that we went to on my bachelorette party. Oh, I wasn't there. How was your bachelorette party? Uh, we played mini golf and sat in your cousin's backyard. <laughs> Jenny's? It is. James, did you like the ice cream? <laughs> oh yeah. You think you liked it? Do I have it on my face? No, not as much as our son, so that's good. That was really good. I'm just like, 
gonna be super chocolatey anything and I'm good. I got pumpkin roll though for my other one. And it was really good. It wasn't like too pumpkin-y. But it was like cakey. It was really good. What? He's been destructo baby. They did not have butter pecan, which is my favorite. But I still like mine. What? You had buttery other things. Yeah, I had ooey gooey cake and brown butter. James, you have to go back in your car. Sarah's thinking about not putting on the stickers. Let us know if she should not. Or maybe just some. We are going to try and do the start of our little art project tonight and see how it goes. How much time it takes. And then if we're up for um, doing the other ones tonight, great. But if not, then we kind of have a gauge for like the time we need. So I just did droplets of different colors. On this board, we'll see what he makes. I also want to see, like, do I need to get more paint? Do I need to just, like, embrace the mess and not do it in the bag? Whoa. Whoa. I want him to do what he wants to do, but I also don't know if, like, I can make it better for him or if I just like let him do his thing and we'll see okay. however it looks that's how it looks <laughs> so I spent a lot of my college years doing different art projects that like took a closer look at children's art and like kind of like the different psychology behind it as far as like when does a child know when something's good or bad or when do they understand that this is what they should be doing and like when is that like freedom and innocence like when does it leave and then like focusing on just how like in my eyes I mean I think it's I think it's factual um how great that like unaltered like creative mind of a child is before that point and obviously after that point too kids can learn skills and all of that but just just like truly the freedom of a child's mind and artwork and what they create even like photography or um sculpture I kind of like touched all of those things throughout my um throughout my like years at college during my education and so I'm kind of struggling with this now because obviously Oh, 11 month old, almost 11 months tomorrow. Um, he's not going to make art right now. And so like, I don't want to control what he's doing. Cause I have that mindset of like wanting him to do what he wants, but he's also a baby. So I obviously like placed the paint. I did place the colors intentionally spread them around, but I, I'm just like, I'm really struggling with like what I want to do next because I feel like he just kind of squished what I did instead of like actually like doing any sort of movements. And I think all of the only thing that that would mean is to like use more paint. Um, but I'm really just like, I'm trying not to like have my own hand in it that much, but I think that that will be something that will help him kind of have more freedom in his movements. I do think that the Ziploc bag worked well for us. I mean, he's been really like enjoying moving it around and whatnot. I just think that if he could see the paint more and like feel it more, then maybe he would be, maybe he'd be like more like, I don't know, I wouldn't call it intentional because he's just a baby. But yeah, that's kind of like the thought behind it. I've always dreamed of like having our kids artwork up in our house. And this is kind of like something that he can make that we can like put up. Um, until he starts making things on his own um but like i think this is a really cool start i just like i just toy with that because i have like investigated it so much comment what you guys think i don't think we're gonna do anything more tonight we might change up the supplies like i said but i think this was like a good test are you done with your art project 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool, but like I said, like, I chose where the colors were. I don't know. What do you think, Peter? Do you think we need more paint? So that he can, like, move it around more? I think I like that. I think if we add more paint, it needs to be, like, on the table, not in the back. Like, truly, like... And I feel like the bag worked, but maybe that's just, like, my, like, not having to, like, have a big cleanup mindset. Oh, I'm all for that, but I just think it'll be a good payoff. So here's his final piece. Like, it is cool, but, like, you can just tell that it was really just where I placed the colors. But we also have the idea, like, I'm not gonna, like, throw this away right away. Like, maybe each one will do differently, try a different way for him to create it, but like just use the same colors. Kind of just, just a cool start to like figure out, you know, like, does it actually go this way? I'm excited. They're going to go on this wall on the shelves that we used to have above the couch where it's just, they're actually right there, those white shelves and then white frames. So there'll be six of them, three, two rows of three. Peter also hung that up tonight. I don't I don't know when my parents got it, but it's been hanging in our basement forever, so we thought it was fitting right here. Okay, this child looks so old. You just brushing your teeth. <laughs> Whoa. James. Someone's being very naughty tonight. <laughs> um I oh, also I believe his parents gave him ice cream. Kind of recently. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what bedtime holds. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>